Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today is September 19th, 2019, and today we're looking at Diatromentus Steel Blue. And this is what it looks like. This is a dark bluish ink, <clears throat> which has some um, red sheen if you look at it just right. I don't know if we'll get to see any on my cheap paper, but... <clears throat> You can kind of see it along here, and if you have more expensive paper, I'm sure it'll show it off just perfectly. I did find it on a Goulet pen, it's a two mil sample for 75 cents. If you know anything about Goulet pens, you will know that that is a very good deal. Two mil sample. So. You can also get a bottle from Goulet Pens for $10, or if you happen to go to Exotic Blanks, $10.95. Goldspot has it for $15.95, and Amazon has it for $20.94 with free shipping. Like, I don't know how much that means to you, but $10 is a really good price for a bottle of Diatromentus ink. So, I would give that one a go, if it were me. Alright then, let's get down into the journal. This was yesterday's... It did not fare well, let me just say. And this was yesterday's ink. I didn't write a whole lot yesterday, I need to finish my thought. I can't finish my thought. I just emptied the pen. Well, that day will just have to be left in the past. All right, today is September the 19th. And today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. I hope everyone is having a nice Thursday. This is a lot darker than I thought it would be. Let's see if it went through. Nah, no blade through except for maybe a teeny tiny little dot. Well, I went double over. So that's pretty cool. And after like 10 seconds it's dry. This is the Premier Premium Journal, just in case you're wondering. All right. I did it again. The quick brown cow jumps over the lazy fox. Sorry, folks, it's going to be a day. I can already tell right now. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's look at the, the colors. <clears throat> this is definitely a Crayola blue. Maybe a hint darker. Maybe a blue black. Can definitely see that it's darker than a Crayola flame. All right, let's get into the Helid Packard 24 pound 90 gram printer paper. good. <clears throat> and there's some bleed through on the back. I would not use 90 gram Halen Packard paper to write on the back of that's just me. You can do whatever you want. Let's get into the construction paper. This paper has a beautiful sh cover up to it. I don't know what it is, but it's got, it's just slick and smooth and wonderful. <clears throat> if I was going to journal every day and I had some construction paper with whatever is on this, like 
this would be the one. Does not bleed through on the back. That's great. I don't know if this was in the new set or the old set. So we're gonna do some paper. Look back and see if we did it on paper or not. No, I didn't. All right, we're gonna do the. This is mead. 10 inch by seven and a ten and a half by seven and a half. This paper also has a, a slick coating on it. I don't know what it is, but it just, it just the pen glides across the paper like butter. I love it. I don't know how heavy this stuff is either. So if anybody knows anything about mead paper that I'm not, that I don't know, please leave that in the comment section below. Detrimentus. This is the, actually let's do CVS Caliber. This is CVS Caliber 6x4. <laughs> no, it does not bleed through. Wow, that's fantastic. Did I look at the back side of this paper? Oh, it's a bleed monster on the mead. That's too bad. It's really too bad. So, mead bleeds through, CVS does not. Wow, that is impressive paper. That's incredible. And after a couple minutes, it's totally used the back side of this paper. That's amazing. Now we're going to look at Walmart. Three by five. This is a beautiful flowy ink. It has some lubrication properties that I can feel in the paper. And there is no bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. That's fantastic. This Walmart stuff is hardy stuff. I mean Wow. It says FC FSC mix paper. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but this is great stuff. Alright, now let's do the last but not least, the Fabriano Eco Qua. Fabriano Eco Qua three and a half by five and a half. 85 GSM. This is pretty high quality paper. I'd be surprised if it bled through, but no bleed through. You could totally use the back side of this paper. Just not on the meat, I guess. That's too bad. Alright, we're going to put this in the bath test and we'll see how that goes. What did you guys think of today's ink? Please leave your comment in the section below. That is all for today. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, love you. Bye.